All right, one of the harder guns to get a proper alignment on with an SMP or a Polar Star seems to be the VFC SCAR. It doesn't matter if it's the light, the heavy, the SSR, they all function the same way. On the outer barrel, there's two screws. One where my thumb sits, and on the reverse side where my thumb sits. All those two screws end up doing is once the inner barrel gets put into the outer barrel, you will tighten those and it will keep this barrel from basically sliding, the actual hop up in the barrel from sliding out. The screw ends up going in right behind the fins. If you don't push the hop up all the way in, the screw will sit on the fin. It is not designed to do that. It is designed to go behind the fin. Once you understand that's the, what fundamentally how it works, the issue typically is getting the nozzle aligned. That being said, since I have a scar, a typical scar H low or upper, and I have an SSR upper, I like to go from DMR to CQB and whatnot. So, what I ended up doing was I screwed the gearbox in screwed it where it was at, and I kind of just left it where it sat. I didn't worry about dealing with alignment as far as the gearbox itself goes. What I did, I decided to adjust the hop-up and shim that instead. It seemed to be working out easier for me from swapping from uppers real fast. Otherwise, I had to keep swapping and screwing screws in differently and tighter and this and that for the gearbox because going from two different uppers just sees in two different styles of alignment. So what I ended up having to do was my hop-up ended up being, let's say, a little too low. I ended up putting electrical tape on top of the hop-up unit. Might seem kind of weird, but it, it obviously pushes more of a, when it goes into the outer barrel, it pushes some downward force on it. Uh, then you say, okay, I have some left and right alignment. Well, I ended up putting some on the fin right here, as you can see. Now, I didn't put any on the other side fin because I didn't have any alignment issues that direction for this gun. Um, once that seemed to get pretty close, I still had a little bit of an issue as I tightened the holes, depending how I tightened the, uh, the screws in the actual outer barrel to the gun. So what I ended up doing was taking some more tape, I actually grabbed some gaff tape, and on my way that mine was misaligned, I ended up laying it right here, which may seem pretty minuscule, some people will go, that's really not that much. Well, anybody that said alignment realizes it's very minuscule moves that will help push something, and it actually just sits up just a little bit above it, and when you tighten it, all it does is just kind of forces that to just push a little bit to one direction. Now, I did that both in my SSR upper and my CQB upper, therefore my gearbox never gets touched again. The gun, I just screwed it to where it's at, and it just stays there. I aligned the hop-up units to that lower receiver, just so that way I can swap on, on the fly and have to worry about retightening stuff. If you have any questions on that or anything, just throw it in the comments below. Find me on Facebook. I'm on the Wolverine SMP page. Other than that, have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching.